updated to a private like we've had bad looks so much from this trip and Milan wants to bless us thank you Italy I knew you loved us but I didn't know it was this much and the fact that you're opening the view without taking your backpack off I love it I think it's right here yeah okay wow stunning and we're back in Italy like I never left I was just here in September and now we're back just a few months later it is one of my favorite countries in the entire world this is now my third time to Italy I was specifically we were in Milano I was here two summers ago and it was the best time ever I was here with Olivia and sadly this morning Olivia and Emily separated from us they're headed back to the States sadly they were with us for half of our trip and Sophia and I are on for another like two and a half weeks which is crazy so we're only halfway so keep up with the vlogs many vlogs coming if you guys have been keeping up you would know that we've had some we've had some pretty down bad travel days so far but today we like switched our luck up and somehow we got this we got upgraded to a free private room which is amazing I love hostels I love meeting people but something about like showering and having to share the shower and like getting ready it's not a lot of fun so I'm happy we got this private and we've stayed with this exact like what is it, Yellow Square? I've stayed in this exact one two summers ago in Rome and we literally love it so much. They do a lot of like things to get everyone together and to be friends. Like I think tonight we're gonna go on a little wine walk through Navigli, which I'm very excited about. We signed up for that. But we just got ready because this is Sophia's first time to Milan, so she has to see all the tourist sites. I'm excited. I ain't no fashionista, but we are in the fashion capital, so this is the fit. Plus the, you know, tourist white sneakers. Oh, also this is for the hostel, it's for security, so we love that. They have one in Rome, Milan, and Florence. These pants aren't that comfortable, but we're in Milan. That's Sophia's fit, cute, cute, styling and profiling. I got black, ooh, no, I got black sneakers on. Sneakers it is for every outfit. Duomo, we're coming for you. It's so big, I literally forget every time. We made it to the Duomo. Sophia's first time, oh, it's all the way over there. What do you think, thoughts? Insane, beautiful. 600 years. Yeah, the lighting is rough, sorry. Last time I was here, 2021, Italy won the Euro Cup and I was out here partying, they were throwing fireworks up above the Duomo. I will link that vlog somewhere here because it's truly iconic. This place literally always amazes me. It's stunning. It's crowded as hell, but stunning. Apparently if you turn your heel on like that three times, it's good luck. Look at them go. One, two, three. That's funny. We're not staying in the tourist area, so since we're in the tourist area right now, we got our postcards, our patches, we are ready. Guys, we just got mistaken for locals somehow, somewhere. Basically our first waitress, she came and she was speaking full Italian, like and I was like, I was like, thank you for the compliment though. So we got a new waiter that speaks English, but it's still a big moment for us. I don't think I look Italian at all, but I'll take it. Um, you can pass I have Italian. Italian too, yeah, you so. do. I do not. I did 21 of me, zero Italian. We're also in a local area, so that's probably why. Chin chin. chin, chin. Honestly, are Sophia and I a little bit wide lit? Absolutely. Hell two yeah. glasses, two glasses gets us. Six zeros each and I'm lit. <laughs> I'm here for it. We're about to go downstairs. We just got back to our hostel, but at 9 p.m. everyone's meeting to oh, do no. everyone's meeting to go on like a Navigli drinking tour. It's like called Navigli District. Everyone walks around. It's an area full of bars, pubs. There's tons of rivers to like walk around. It's a very cute area and basically to go out. So we did a little pregame on our own so we can have some liquid courage to make friends. And now we're gonna go downstairs and meet friends. We also just went to Zara and I got a new pair of black pants because currently, oh they're right here. Currently these, 
They're really cute, but they're giving me a constant wedgie and it's not a good time. So I got basically the exact same pair, but from Zara. Tried them on, super comfortable, I'm ready. And just like that, till we got on the new pants, I bet you can't see a difference, but I'm way more comfortable and I don't have a constant wedgie going on. So I'm very happy about this decision. Thank you, Zara Milano. Also, we were walking around looking at the fashion, you know, fashion city, fashion capital of the entire world. And we saw these in Zara. You know, everyone express themselves how they want to, but that is a no-no from me. So that is what I saw today in the streets of Milan. Well, actually it was in Zara, but it was a very interesting time. The girls are ready to meet friends. Still drunk. Mm -hmm. Indubitable. Ow! Fill your water. I'm not taking my water. You're not taking it, but drunk later, you're gonna be thankful for it. You're not wrong. We literally have, every time we go out, we keep our pajamas out, so we just have to come in and just get into bed. Last night did end up being a really fun way to meet friends. It's not what I expected. I really thought we were like going on a wine walk, like a pub crawl, but that is not what it was. USA! <laughs> Happy Fourth of July! But it ended up being more like we all walked to Navigli, like a night walk together. And then we sat on the river and all just drank wine and it was really fun actually. It was Monday in Milan, so I guess there was not many places to go out. So it was a great way. We made a lot of friends actually. It's a very social night. A lot of people, I vibed with everyone very well. So because of that, now everyone is coming to Lake Como with us today. It was originally Sophie and ours idea because today is 4th of July. Yes, we're in Italy, but we still want to celebrate our independence. So we need to be by a body of water. So we're going to Lake Como. And so when we told everyone we were going, they were all looking for like someone to make friends with to go with. So here we are all going together. So I wanted to just vlog a little bit because I know I'm not going to do well vlogging with everyone else. I'm looking at this as we're having a group honeymoon there. Today. Yes, because it's a very romantic spot, but it'll be fun. I'm excited making new friends. And we're ready. Happy 4th of July. Happy Canada Day. It was just Canada Day. Even though this vlog is literally coming out like a month later, it still counts. It's truly a bonding experience when you all sprint it to the train. I'm hot. It never disappoints. It's stunning. Since there's so many of us, we're on the hunt to find a boat and nothing sounds better. You know, we're missing our 4th of July. A boat day just sounds right. No boat, but we got gelato. Cheers. Cheers. No? Chin chin. Chin chin. So if we found our private beach. We were literally here, exactly right here, two years ago. I love it. Okay, today could not have gone literally more perfect. Everyone just vibed so well. You never know with a group of like strangers getting together if everyone's gonna vibe and get along very well. And we were kind of like together the entire day. We traveled there and back together. But all the personalities, everyone was so nice. I just love meeting people from all over the world and getting their perspectives and just like picking their brain on everything. And there was there was a lot of us like an American, a Dutch, a Israeli, uh, Aussie, and we all literally had so much fun. And now we have friends all over the freaking world. Like we're literally about to get, we're getting ready to have dinner with them again. Sadly, they're all leaving tomorrow though. So it is our last night all together, but we had a full packed day. I am ready honestly to go to bed right now, but we need some food or else I can knock out right now. It is literally such an easy train to Como. Well, specifically we went to Verena and we took like the ferry around and it's so easy, like highly recommend. And Como is just stunning. We went swimming, we walked around, we got lunch over there gelato and then we just took the train right back i'm so jealous of europe's train system like we need it in the states please their train system their ferry system how cheap their flights are basically everything everything about europe america needs to learn from it okay okay it is an eyebrow and curled lashes kind of night we're just getting dinner somewhere around the hostel because i think we're all pretty exhausted from the sun Our first time having edamame. You hear in love? I'm not in love, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can do it like that. Yeah.
Okay, it is the next day and we just made it to beautiful Venice. We literally just took the two hour, oh, the scarf, two hour train here. It was super easy and we're spending the day in Venice. Sophia's never been here before. It's so beautiful. My favorite thing coming to Venice is like all the glass blowing. It's so beautiful. I got my mom one of these last time. A little bottle cork, like it's stunning. Oh, I nope, I need this actually. Sophia, we need this. I need you. <laughs> All the shot glasses, it's all beautiful. We have no exact location to end up. We're literally just getting lost. We don't even know where the main area is right now, so everything is pretty empty, but we're fine about it. These are the postcards I like to find. They're so unique. Look at this one, this one. I love when they're like water painted. Oh, that one's stunning, yes. I just wanna keep them all for myself. I know. We just had a lovely lunch sitting by the canal until we got booted off and we had to leave. But it was lovely and nonetheless, I also just finally bought a new pair of sunglasses. If you guys follow my Instagram and you've seen most of my pictures with my eyes closed, that is because I broke my glasses on like the first location and I haven't had glasses since and it is very sunny. So I got these for 10 euros right on like the a tourist little shack and I think they're so cute. The shape is unique and now I'm ready for the rest of the trip. We are now headed to Fandaco de Tedeschi. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right but we're gonna look at a free view of Venice. Away from these crowds, please, it's a lot. It's literally just a shopping center, but we're going all the way to the top. We're in a hostel, we shouldn't be here. <laughs> it is nice. Just kidding, apparently it's all booked up, but you best believe I used their free bathroom. I'm not paying a euro again. Okay, Sophia and I have made it to the city of love. No, not Paris. We're in Verona. I've never been to Verona. This is finally the first place of this trip that I have yet to be. So we are discovering it together. My camera's dying. This is sad. But we are exhausted. It's been a long day. We just took a bus. We're trying really not to walk. We tried to get a scooter. That also didn't work out for us. Well, there goes my camera, so I will be vlogging on my phone from now on. We're literally passing the Verona Coliseum right now, Coliseum Arena. Anyone I've ever met in Italy says that Verona is actually one of their favorite places, so we are here. We're gonna see Romeo and Juliet's balcony. I'm excited because we love... What's the movie? Uh, letters to Juliet. Iconic. And we're gonna write letters. And put it in the wall. I think yeah. it's. I think everything's like real. I want it to be, and if it's not, I actually might have a meltdown because we did no research prior to coming Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, I literally looked it up on the way here, what to see, what to do. Chin chin. This is literally the biggest bruschetta of my entire life, and yes, we will demolish the whole thing. Okay, I forgot to end Italy and we're already on to the next country. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Italy has such a special place in my heart, especially Milan. I always make like the bestest friends there. It's full of amazing people. It's a great hub. I am literally sweating out here. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Stay tuned for the next location and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.